Fellas, fall is right around the corner. I've picked up a lot of gems from Uniqlo to Nike, so stick around. Let me show you what I got. Our first item are these 5'11 Tac Light Striker Cargo Pants. 5'11 is a super underrated brand when it comes to fashion, people that are into fashion. Their target market is preppers, fathers, first responders, but I happen to like their stuff. I've recommended this brand for years. It's very affordable and you get quite a lot of functionality. Between these cargo pants and the ones that I have on right now, you're gonna see how tech wear brands like Acronym take a lot of inspiration from the military tactical gear. So these ones are 58 bucks to eight Apex cargo is around 80 bucks. You can't go wrong with either. Both of these have a gusseted construction that gives you loads of flexibility and movement. For the Tac Light Pro, you get eight pockets, including a dedicated phone pocket. It only fits my smaller business phone though. So if you got a bigger phone, it's not gonna fit. It's made out of ripstop fabric and is slightly water repellent. You also get some cool belt loops and include a D-ring at your hip. And also this really cool strap in the back, which is more for keeping things secure to your body. When it comes to first responders, it allows them to secure their radio. And it just adds a lot of visual interest. When it comes to the Apex cargos, they're also water repellents. You get a handcuff key pocket in the back tag. At the pocket area, there's some extra fabric so you can clip on your knife, your pepper spray. It's not going to damage the pants like if you had jeans on and it's going to tear up right there. This is very durable and is meant to hold those things. Both of them come in a more straight, relaxed cut. I always wore the Apex cargos for skating. They're great. They're flexible. It moves with you. It can handle a lot of wear and tear. This one is made out of ripstop fabric. This one is more abrasion resistant. As a budget tech wear cargo pants, you can't go wrong with either of these. If you like the straight cut, just stick with that. But I would recommend a slight taper, which is why I got another pair of these. So I'm gonna take these to the tailor, get them slightly tapered, and I'll let you guys know how it looks. This one's 58 bucks. This one's about 80 bucks. Can't go wrong with either one of them. On to the next item, this timepiece right here, the Tissot PRX. Let me take this off real quick. So this is one of the best bang for the buck watches that you can get out there, probably of all time. And if you're a watch nerd, I mean enthusiasts, you would definitely agree that this is objectively one of the best bang for the bucks out there. Like anything, there's levels to this when it comes to watches. So in the budget range from 20 to even 100 bucks, probably your best bang for the buck is a Casio, right? Anything above 100 to 300 bucks, probably Seiko, Orient, a few other brands. When you go even higher in price, it's sort of like a logarithmic graph where it goes like this. So that typically means the more that you pay, you're gonna get marginally better quality. So I feel like the Tissot PRX is in that sweet spot. It looks great, it looks beautiful, almost like an AP. Great build quality, comes in a coarse movement or an automatic movement. Like I love my Vera watches, you guys know I talked about them in the past. I love this watch, especially if I'm gonna go traveling, go into Hawaii, swim at the beaches, maybe do some diving. That's when I'd bring the Vera watch. But on the daily, the Tissot PRX is hard to beat. I just love the bracelet, the shape, the build quality, the dial. It just looks so elegant and this was 325 bucks. This is the quartz movement version. I don't mind getting the automatic. I just like a quartz movement so I don't have to baby it as much. It's very low maintenance. I just pick it up and go. You also get a lot of heritage. They've been around since 1853, started in Switzerland. And here it is next to my Seiko. This Seiko is an automatic, but from an aesthetic standpoint, I'm rolling with Tissot. So depending on your budget, the Tissot PRX, one of the best bang for the bucks out there, whether you get an automatic or quartz movements, there's a big price difference. So that is up to you. All right, fellas, next up is the Nike Every Stitch Considered Vest. Nike Every Stitch Considered is one of the most underrated. One of the craziest collections they've dropped was the Every Stitch Considered. Their price points were insane. I believe this vest was 500 or 600 bucks, something like that for a vest. Okay, that's crazy. But luckily, in the secondhand market, these things dropped in value a lot. Anything from Nike Every Stitch Considered is worth picking up. This one I only got for 90 bucks. And seriously, Every Stitch was considered when it comes to the design, the construction, it is made very, very well. You got the Riri double zipper, so that's better than YKK typically. And this one does have an asymmetric look. This part of the vest overlays on the side, you get a little diagonal slit right there. And you also get a nice chest pocket, which is what I really like about this. Layering a vest over a hood hoodie is one of my favorite looks and that's what I typically do with this but this one does come with a hood so I just layer it over a crew neck and then you'll still get the same look I didn't really notice this at first but this is actually from the women's section it doesn't look like any women's product in my eyes luckily the ladies collection is a little bit more oversized so this one's a size medium it actually fits like a size large and I just love the shape that this provides so like I said Nike every stitch considered pick up their stuff it's on heavy discount right now y'all have seen me in the Nike every stitch considered parka jacket 
it. That one retailed for 800 bucks, which is crazy. And I got it for 200. So their entire line is in a heavy discount, especially if you go with the Japanese market or if you go anything secondhand, it's gonna be very, very cheap. Not cheap, but more affordable for the quality. So yeah, grab one while you can. Another item I picked up is this thing right here. And what is this exactly? You guys might be thinking it's just a piece of plastic. No. It's actually a hat holder. We got my A Choice Made cap. Restock coming soon. Stay tuned, fellas. Just drop it in right there, and this gets mounted to your wall. You can stack a bunch of hats on top of each other, and it will be easy to dig around and find the exact hat that you want. So even though I'm filming this right now and it's not installed, I would still highly recommend this. I know it's gonna work really well. Next item up, we got from Abercrombie. This item actually sold out, which is unfortunate, but this is one of their flannels. Any of their flannels is actually quite good. You guys know me, I'm not that big of a flannel guy. I think everybody was back in uh, the Jerry Boy days. I'm starting to incorporate it back into my wardrobe pushing my style a little bit with some more patterns and all that. This flannel is in a light cream, has some brownish tones, a little bit of gray and olive in it. And it's just very aesthetically pleasing. They have plenty of other flannels that I would highly recommend. I got this in a size medium. For those of you guys asking, I'm five foot seven, 162 pounds. It's starting to get a little cooler now, so bulk season starts for me. Any of Abercrombie's flannels, I would highly recommend. They've got some good stuff. Check them out. Let's move on to the next. All right, so we're moving on to Uniqlo now, and this is the Uniqlo Block Tech. 3D parka. I've actually had a few of these in the past, but when I moved across the nation from New York to Las Vegas, somehow they have disappeared. I don't know if my movers stole them or I gave it away. Not too sure. The Block Tech 3D parka is one of the best bang for the bucks if you're starting to build your tech wear wardrobe. This is just worth picking up to try out the style. This is great to keep in your trunk for those days that it precipitates, you guys get stranded, your girl gets cold, which my, my, my girl gets cold all the time, even in the summertime. I just whip this out, she's good. Anything like that if you don't like this jacket. I already really like this jacket, it's only 80 bucks. And if you pair this with the 511 cargos, you got a nice budget tech wear wardrobe started that are both very functional. Like I said, it's light, it's packable. The Block Tech technology allows this to be windproof and water repellent. You get adjustable cuffs. I do wish there was a double zipper, but this is a budget piece, so I totally get it. They have a bunch of colorways depending on your taste. I would highly recommend just sticking with black. Black goes with everything. That's the staple when it comes to tech wear. But if you're more into that hiker core fashion aesthetic, you hike a lot, any of the colored ones would be very good, especially if you're out in the wild. You want high visibility, so you're easily detected. Styling wise, I keep it simple, just with some cargos, some nice runners. All black look, the simpler, the better. So I would highly recommend this piece if you're just getting started with your tech wear wardrobe or your hiker core wardrobe. All right, moving on. Now we are on to our final piece from Uniqlo and I am also wearing it right now. So this is the olive colorway. This is the tan colorway. This is called the utility short blouson. I think it's blow soon. It's, I, excuse me, guys. All right, I'm an American. Okay, I'm very ignorant, so I apologize. Fellas, this piece is a thing of beauty. This isn't even a part of their Uniqlo U collection. This is just part of their regular fall collection. And I just love the juxtaposition of everything on this garment. So you have the corduroy collar and inside the sleeves, it's actually corduroy as well. So there's a bit of corduroy right there. You can rock it unbuttoned just to reveal a little bit of texture in your wrist. You also get on the inside a nice pattern. And it's those little details that just makes this feel a little bit more premium. Size wise, I got this in a size medium. It is a little bit more relaxed fitting. The sleeves are just a tad bit too long, but that's nothing the tailor can't fix. Should get your clothes tailored anyways. It does come with a chest pocket, the front pockets, and you still still get hand pockets for whenever your hands get cold, so you don't have to put it through the front right here. Got some nice snap buttons, you get an inside pocket as well. Styling wise, this leans more towards that workwear look, but also with the rest of the fabric, it does have a more utilitarian look. It's called the utility short jacket. So it sort of looks like a tech wear jacket in a way. You get three colorways, this one, olive and black. Black is a safe bet. I'm really digging this olive one right here. You can sort of rock this in a tech wear look or casual streetwear look, and it comes in the beautiful price price of $69.90. Nice one, Uniqlo. You guys see the excitement on me when it comes to this piece. I would highly recommend this. Any colorway you can't go wrong with. I think olive and black is the best. Styling it in this beige colorway is a little more difficult for me just because I'm so used to olive and black. I got this to push myself out of my comfort zone. And fellas, that there is my fall pickups. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you found this video helpful. And until then, stay fly, deuces.